Hello everyone, welcome to the day 7 of the CC10. Here we have the Cincy Remnants in Sargon. Um, okay, Schmebel would say it is okay to play. The challenge uh, is a little bit tricky, having minus 50% reduced attack from all operators we have. I already uh, tried it out, at least that's how it worked for me. Of course, probably uh, thanks to my high-level you know, operators. But yeah, I'm using Strategic Dispatch. Should be maybe fair game for most people to get these two risk points for free there. And yeah, I also use anti-mobility because I think it's fine. You should be able to have covered action here in play. I believe at least that 10 operators is okay, is doable. And yeah, last line of defense, just don't let anyone get through, and we have risk 8. Mm, I may think though it is uh, especially uh, possible for me because I'm using 6 star operators. You could say it's nearly all 6 star, Myrtle counts as normally a 6 star, I would say it's just a DP printing uh, a god, goddess. Yeah, I'm using a uh, Ling especially again. And also for lane holding mountain and Scotty for some damage buff countering. Yeah, gonna show you how I did it. Let's go. On this map, I directly started with Myrtle. From your directly here, not going for backpipe, just having a for the early DP and use mountain here. Less DP cost, and yeah, good lane holder has a bit of damage here to counter this debuff we have. I let them run. I directly gonna go for Skelter to let her skill uh, charge up. Then I can go here with Ash. On the top side I'm using Blaze, she's tanky, has range to hit them in the bottom there. And yeah, <clears throat> overall a good solo lane holder for this stage I would say. Followed up, I use Link here to support Fawn's damage. And now we get to the interesting part. Uh, as it is forbidden to use the Finder or Specialist Operators, I use Link Summon to uh, catch these guys. So that the drakes, the dragons, are catching the rockets from uh, these rocket launchers. And yeah, I just need to pee now for using uh, Aya. I'm using Aya Fiala with her uh, ignition skill, only mastery one, to deal with these troublemakers. Yeah, I just go now and while we wait, uh, we leave one limit open for either the next drake, the next dragon or someone else. And this is the basic lineup I would say. And Fawns is now ready to go, awesome. Yeah, and you always just need to watch out with Skelter's uh, summon to counter this annoying drone there on top. It is very annoying. Now that they are coming through here, you can place one dragon here to let Fawns not be overrun. Yeah, and this is now the only problem, it is dealing a lot of damage here. Alright, and we get this guy. And he does a lot of damage. Holy shit, yeah. Really problematic. For now I would then leave them as is, once you have reached the limit, cause you would need directly the next dragon to uh, catch these missiles. Meanwhile, Ling and um, Fawns are able to uh, out damage the healing done to this uh, tanky boy there. And yeah, everyone got catched, awesome. Alright, and now we just need to deal with the top again. Giving the summon to Ash so she doesn't die there. And yeah, his healing summon is done, this is good. I mean, yeah, you can in between place back Piper someone else to just deal with this here. 
he dies faster. The next one, never forget your timings. On 40, these guys come up again, so we definitely need the next summon here. And now we just need to go for that one. Okay. And now we get to the point where... This is getting a little bit troublesome, because Ash is dying. It's, it's normal, you can't deal it, at least I didn't deal with it. Um, that's probably the only difference here. I out damage them again with Link's dragons. Blaze can tank it, Blaze is a tanky girl. She has absolutely no problems. We use the next slot which Ash opened up to summon the next dragon and just leave the dragons on field for now. And now we're just gonna wait a little bit. They still should be able uh, to hold them, that's the special point about it. And yeah, we are nearly at the end. Now I'm using Gewalter to deal more damage. And we're gonna wait till my skill is charged up again. And now just let them deal damage everywhere. And yeah, that's how I am dealing with the stage. I know it's very uh, high star. I definitely have no idea exactly which operators you would need for free star. I'm just kinda happy it worked for me. It works pretty well and yeah, probably the MVP again is gonna be Ling. And I mean yeah, you can use other maybe also maybe some ranged guards for the top lane and forms is also kinda necessary. And just, yeah, it is a high risk, uh, high star solution. I assume you have some operators of them here, and yeah, you fill just that what you need with the support. And yeah, overall, you can take guards out. You just need a block, you need a strong AoE uh, caster, and definitely some buffing to counter the damage debuff. That's at least how I did it. And you shouldn't forget something to uh, abate these rocket launchers. Yeah. That's the essence of this daily CC. Uh, hope you got a little bit of information out of some enjoyment on uh, seeing how I cleared the stage. And yeah, see you in the next daily CC or in another stream. Till then, bye bye.